Hey everybody, Rob from Karma Comic Chameleon coming at you with a new pro revenge story. My pro revenge on one of my first bosses. Let's jump right in. Check out the link below for KCC merch and hit that subscribe button for more daily Reddit stories. So this is a lengthy one with a few pieces of essential interruptions for background info. So bear with me, names have been changed as always. As a kid, I spent my summers at a day camp in my hometown. Even as a camper, I knew I wanted to be a counselor eventually. When I was 15, I got a summer job working as a counselor under Joel, the same director who ran the camp when I was a kid. I was a counselor for one of the younger groups and things went fantastic. They went so well in fact, Joel offered me a pretty sweet promotion. I got to teach the camp's science class. While this promotion meant a big raise, it also required a lot of outside work, especially before the summer started. I had to plan out lessons that would work with the whole range of ages, would keep the kids involved, and could create teachable moments. I had to make nearly 40 lesson plans, and to top things off, we were transitioning to become an inclusive camp for special needs children, so I needed to work with a specialist to ensure kids with a wide range of disabilities could be involved. So at the age of 16, I made up all these inclusive and educational lesson plans, ordered all the necessary materials, and prep my room for the year. While it was challenging, I enjoyed what I was doing, loved teaching and working with special needs kids, and was making really good money for my age. The first year as the science teacher went incredibly well. I remember the other campers and I used to dread science class, but now the kids were thrilled to show up for class, and nothing made me happier than seeing kids who usually struggle to learn proudly explain the new concepts they learned. I built up amazing relationships with many of the campers and their parents showed tremendous gratitude, oftentimes hiring me to babysit right after camp and paying handsomely. The summer went off without a hitch, and I was looking forward to another raise and another great summer. Then things changed. Joel, who was always one of my biggest supporters, retired as he was moving to another state, and the woman who worked under him, Nicole, was to take over. A bit of background on Nicole. She never really seemed to like me, and I tracked it down to the fact that one of the secretaries in her office had filled her ears with some pretty nasty lies. The secretary's son had sold me his Xbox to buy drugs apparently, and his mother was convinced I had traded him drugs for it or something of the sort. I was good friends with the secretary's daughter, and she confirmed my suspicions that her mother talked a bunch of shit about me to Nicole. Fast forward to a few months before the next summer, and I've confirmed I got the job and the raise that was given annually. At this point, I was making more than people who were a few years older than me, as specialists got a larger annual raise. I send in new lesson plans to get them reviewed. Once I get the okay, I started to prepare to order the supplies I needed, only to find out they wanted me to pay for them, and they would pay me back on my first check. I had savings, and I trusted them, so I said no problem. The summer started, and before lunch on the first day, Nicole called me into her office. She proceeded to give me a written warning, as I had allowed the kids to eat their snack earlier than scheduled. I did so because one of the kids in my lesson group was diabetic, and had low blood sugar, and another had behavioral issues that made it impossible for just one kid to have a snack time at once. The special needs specialist even agreed with my call. I was completely taken aback, but didn't think too much of it. The next morning I showed up early to set up for the day, and Nicole called me into her office before I could clock in. She handed me a typed up note, explaining I had been fired for three reasons. The first was, she claimed I wasn't prompt in responding to emails, the second was that my lesson plans weren't what she wanted, and the third was the issue from the day before regarding snack time. I walked out of her office crying. I didn't even get the chance to say goodbye to my campers. My favorite camper, Elle, saw me leaving and the look on her face broke my heart. Her father passed away when she was two, and her mother always teased me about how Elle called me her new dad. I got a text later from a coworker that day saying multiple kids, including a few with emotional disabilities, were so upset they went home for the day. On top of this, I had planned for this to be my last summer in my home state, I was headed off to college and needed money badly. I got home and explained what happened to my dad, who was shocked to see me. He immediately asked to see my notice of termination and my paycheck, and asked if they had paid me for the supplies. I realized then, I had not been paid at all. 
My dad practices business law, and this is where the revenge begins. As soon as I mentioned I was not paid, his eyes lit up. The next thing we covered was my reasons for firing. I had all the emails from work saved that prove I replied within a day, at most, to every plan, and that my lessons had been approved by both Nicole and the special needs specialist. My dad went on to explain how they had messed up. First off, they needed to pay me for the time I spent making my lessons up, and for the first day, and by not paying me when I was fired, they could essentially end up owing me a lot more money. This was made even worse by the fact that they had not paid me for the materials they now possessed. Also, I was technically employed by the state, and there had to be legitimate reasons to fire me. Not only could I prove the reasons were not legitimate, I apparently had the right to access all emails sent by my bosses containing my name. Knowing Nicole's secretary had been talking me so much, I figured there was a good chance I would find emails with them talking about me if I requested the files. My dad and I spent the afternoon constructing a beautiful legal looking letter that explained how much I could sue them for just not paying me and how much worse it would be when I proved I was unjustly terminated. I made a few simple requests in the letter for what they could do to avoid such a costly embarrassment, and this is when the plan became pro. I requested three things. One, full pay for the summer. It was much less than I could have sued for. Two, all the materials for my lessons I had not been paid for. And three, an apology in front of the campers and a letter explaining my termination in better terms to the parents of the campers. I called Nicole early the next morning and asked if I could swing by. She assumed I was coming in for my lesson material and told me I could do it before or after camp hours. I walked into her office before camp started, handed her the letter, and asked her to read it. I watched as her face turned white. She proceeded to pick up the phone and motioned for me to leave. Less than a week later, I got called in to be told they had accepted my deal. I asked for the apology to be made at the end of the day on a Friday at the end of the first session and prepared to set my plan into motion. As I had mentioned, I babysat for quite a few campers and had good relations with plenty of parents as a result, hence why I wanted an email to explain why I wasn't working there anymore. Elle's mom saw me waiting outside the camp and rushed up to me to chat. She told me how sad Elle was that I had been gone and asked if I could babysit that afternoon as she had some work to do. She did PR work from home. We met up at her place and I asked her if she had some time to chat and set my plan into motion. I had the connections to both campers and parents. I had the lesson plans and the materials. I just needed a spot. So I explained to Elle's mom that I wanted to continue to teach my science lessons and that I thought I could babysit a group of 10 or so kids at a time in the afternoons after camp if she was okay with us using her backyard. She was thrilled by the idea and picked up the phone to call a bunch of the mothers and fathers of Elle's friends. It quickly became a gig where I was charging $10 per hour per kid for up to 10 kids every weekday afternoon for three hours. I was making anywhere from $1,000 to $1,500 per week on top of the money my old boss had to pay me and made over 10 k in a summer I only worked 15 hours a week during. Nicole was let go from her position at the end of the year. I like how OP prevailed and eventually came out on top, but you have to think that in the end, it was really the kids that were really hurt by that situation. They had a teacher they enjoyed and a class they enjoyed, and all of a sudden that completely changed. For some of those kids, especially the special needs ones, that would be a very, very hard change to make, changing teachers in the middle of a season. You'd think that would be something that the camp would have thought about, but I don't think that Nicole was thinking that way at all. I think she just had her own best interests in mind. While going through the comments on this story, I came across one from OP that actually helps wrap up the story, and I'll read that for you now. It says, All is well. My passion was always for marine biology from a very young age, hence my passion for teaching children science. I was fortunate to get into a great school to study marine bio, got some great experience in my desired field of aquaculture, fish farming, via summer internships, and now I have a job I enjoy that pays me enough to save money to further invest towards starting my own farm sometime down the road. Funny enough, the investments I made with the money I earned that summer were by far my best moves in my 10 plus years of trading, and really ended up creating a lump sum that I've been able to make steady growth off of. While I missed out on having one last summer with all the kids, I spent quality time with some great kids, created my own little side hustle, 
and ended up being set up well financially for the rest of my life as a result of being fired for buying an Xbox from a guy I didn't know had a drug problem. I never would want to take advantage of someone like that. I want to thank OP for giving me permission to narrate their story today. OP has requested that I don't link to their profile or to the story on Reddit, so I will heed that and there won't be any links in the description today. You will find links below, however, to the KCC merch and to our Discord, which I recommend joining. We have 360 people in there and it's usually pretty active. Once again, this is Rob from Karma Comic Chameleon saying thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I ask you to hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and share it with your friends. And we'll see you in the next one.